Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa and I am with Southwestern Public Health's vaccine team. Vaccines are one of the greatest public health success stories of our time. They prevent illnesses such as measles, mumps, polio, and many others, an accomplishment that was unimaginable in the generations of our grandparents and great-grandparents. Vaccines, however, are fragile. They require proper storage and handling to ensure they remain safe and useful. If not stored properly, their effectiveness will be reduced. The loss of vaccine effectiveness due to improper storage and handling is cumulative, permanent, and irreversible. If a person is immunized with vaccine that has not been properly handled and stored, they often need to be recalled by their healthcare provider and re-immunized to ensure they are protected against that disease. This educational video will cover how to properly pack a cooler for vaccine transportation, how to transport vaccine to maintain cold chain temperatures, what is exposed vaccine and what to do with it. Now let's get started. When transporting vaccines between sites to clinics or between fridges, you need to ensure cold chain temperatures of two to eight degrees are maintained. To do this, you will need an insulated cooler with solid walls and a tight lid, a digital maximum minimum thermometer that measures temperatures, an empty vaccine box, frozen ice packs, refrigerated water blankets. To condition a cooler for vaccine storage, you must lower the temperature of the cooler before you store the vaccine for transport. Please note, this can take up to an hour to drop the temperature enough to be between two and eight degrees, so leave yourself lots of time. A temperature between three and five degrees is ideal. Clean the inside and handle of the cooler with a disinfectant wipe. This will ensure the vaccine is transported in a clean vessel. Then, perform your own hand hygiene. Place one or two ice packs at the bottom of the insulated container. Place a preconditioned ice blanket, two degrees to eight degrees Celsius, on top of the ice blanket. Place the vaccine package on top of the ice blanket. Position the temperature monitoring device, or the sensor, in the center of the vaccine package. Insulation material, such as a brown paper bag, may surround the vaccine packages. This allows for cool air circulation around the vaccines and minimizes the risk of hot or cold spots. Place another preconditioned ice blanket over the vaccine. Place another preconditioned ice pack on top of the ice blanket. Clearly mark all insulated containers storing vaccine with the following label. Vaccines store between 2 degrees to 8 degrees Celsius. We also have three tips on vaccine transport. Never transport vaccine in a trunk of a vehicle or leave it in an unattended vehicle as temperatures around the cooler may fluctuate and put the vaccine at risk. Check your thermometer every 30 to 60 minutes to ensure the cooler is maintaining two to eight degrees Celsius while storing the vaccine. Whenever possible, keep vaccine in transport containers like coolers for the shortest amount of time. Transfer the vaccines to a stable, monitored refrigerator that is inspected annually as soon as possible. Exposed vaccine is vaccine that is stored or handled at temperatures below 2 degrees Celsius and or above 8 degrees Celsius for any period of time, or that is not stored according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Depending on the length and type of exposure, some vaccines may still be viable. Contact the Southwestern Public Health vaccine team to assist you in determining if the vaccines that remain suitable for use. You have now reached the end of our educational video on packing vaccines for safe transport. By taking steps to ensure you are ready to transport your vaccines safely and maintain the appropriate cold chain, you will protect valuable vaccine from wastage while offering the most optimal vaccination possible to your patients, residents, or clients. If you have any questions, please reach out. Our team is here to help. Thank you. We hope that you found this brief video valuable.